Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to another Mods mashup. Today we're looking at the Dodge Pickup. Uh, this is a mod from American Eagle Modding. And here's some of the variations. There's quite a few variations actually. Uh, let me show it to you in the store first. So here it is, it's just a standard Dodge. So you have just a standard Dodge, which is 22 grand, but then you have the back attacher, which adds an extra, uh, adds the gooseneck or the semi-trailer, if you want to call it that. And you have different engine styles. You have the uh, 100, the 140, which is 160 horsepower. So basic is 100 horsepower. The 140 is 165 horsepower. And also the 200, which is 190 horsepower. And as you can see, the price does change quite a bit based on that. So you have that option, you have this option, and you have the main color, so you can get it in purple if you like. Uh, the wheel setups, you have the standard design, design two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so those are the variations and you can change your rims too if you like. So that's the variations on the mod. So it can range from like anywhere from 22,000 all the way up to I think about 44,000 I think they said. So anyways, one of the really cool things about this is the fact that you can have, where is it here? This right here. So this is the little back attacher. You can have that on this truck, which is nice. So if you want to attach like a, some sort of trailer on the back, you have that option available to you, which is pretty slick. Also, you probably noticed by now, but they also have the uh, straps capability on here as well. So that's pretty slick as well. So let's go ahead and try out those straps real quick and we'll go from there. All right, so if you have the tailgate down, you can put a pallet on the back. So what they've actually done is they've stiffened up the suspension on the back of these things. So you can put like a pallet in here without, uh, without it lowering it down too crazily. There we go. Let's lower that down, push it forward a little bit more. And it's still a bit buggy, but that's just the way it works. Let go. So there you have it in the trailer itself, or in the back of the trailer, in the back of the truck here, and you have the straps on it. So you have, uh, I think it's three straps all together. So as you can see, it does tip up the back of the truck a little bit more, but if I, if I were to push it forward, it would probably be a bit better in that regards. But that gives you an idea of what it can be like. Now, I did notice that when I attached this, it was, uh, oh, it's fine now. It was a bit buggy, uh, like jumping around there, but it seems to be better now. So if I were to push this forward a little bit, it might be a bit better. Let's just try that. Push it forward a little bit in the truck. As you can see, I took the forks off. Just gonna see if we can push it forward just a little bit. As you can see, it does weigh down the truck a little bit. Uh, and this is probably because this is maybe one of the uh, 100 horsepower trucks, perhaps in a 200 horsepower truck, it may be a bit different. I don't know, let's test that out real quick. All right, so here's the same pallet. This is a one of the 200 versions. Uh, and as you can see, it doesn't weigh down the back of it nearly as much. Now this is basically a bit better over the, uh, the axles here, but you can see how the difference is pretty obvious already. Like it doesn't weigh it down nearly as much. Uh, but that gives you an idea of this is like just a hundred model with different tires on it And this is one of the other ones. This is the Rodeo 200 so you can see how it's got stiffer suspension now uh, In this particular model and of course you can strap it down So you can one of the cool things about that feature is you can put uh, For example straw bales in the back or wool pallets in the back and it would uh, obviously it would work well for that particular purpose so in terms of the designs of the wheels, let me just show you where do they start different here? Here you go. So here's design 2 three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the last one. I think there's, those are all the different designs you can get for the tires. So it's kind of neat. Uh, this reminds me of, there's one that reminded me of uh, Hot Rods, this one right here. You see it with uh, some cars will have that design. Uh, that is the truck itself. Let's go ahead and give this a quick little test right here. So here I have a the Flygel. And just to show you that it does work, I won't. This won't. I won't move around with this because it's not really used for this. But just to show you, it does work. You can uh, attach it to that. But it's more meant for like the PJ trailer and stuff like that, which is kind of like a gooseneck style trailer. But it does attach. So just to give you an idea that it does actually work, uh, just for future reference. But it's not meant for this type of trailer at all. So there you go. That is the Dodge pickup. Uh, this feature right here, be able to put stuff in the back of it and uh, be able to increase the horsepower so it can actually carry some of the heavier stuff like having this capability like this is fantastic uh, that is a pretty solid ability right there and the fact that you can change the wheels too is kind of neat so anyways that's the dodge pickup by, from american eagle modding i'll leave a link in the description below 
if you'd like to download it remember you do need to do need to have a membership to that site it's free you just sign up for it basically but keep that in mind so anyways my name is Ian Robson hope you enjoyed if you did why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more mods mashup and also if you have a suggestion for the next mod to check out let me know in the comments below later